All right. We're introducing a new award this year, and uh, I'm pleased to bring up the editor of Powder Magazine, John Clary Davis, to tell us about it. Davies? Davies? There he is, all right. Thanks, Johnny. So tonight is about celebrating the community of skiing. As a lot of the, uh, the winners tonight have said, uh, this is a tribe that is full of joy, art, and incredible athletic achievements. This collection of people, all of us here tonight, and those throughout the world, we are extremely lucky to be skiers. Athletes! What's up? Let's listen up. Thanks, Johnny. Skiing is also a cause worth fighting for. This year, it felt incumbent upon us to introduce a new award that recognizes service in the ski world. We wanted to shed light on someone who was making a difference in our ski community. The Moving Mountains Award celebrates a humanitarian in skiing whose work has been instrumental in influencing and enriching the long-term health of skiing. Deciding the winner wasn't easy. We, we discussed countless deserving, deserving nominees who are essential to their community and to the growth of this sport. But for the inaugural award, we wanted to recognize someone who has made a global impact. And also someone who works day in and day out addressing the issue that uh, the, the biggest issue facing skiing, climate change, which threatens the, the very nature and existence of our sport. The winner of the award has turned Aspen into the leader in mountain town environmentalism and a nationally recognized player on the issue. That is due to Aspen's vice president of sustainability whose job is to focus on big-scale solutions to mitigating climate change. Our winner is also the Protect Our Winners Chairman of the Board, the Basalt Town, a Basalt Town Council member, and the author of Getting Green Done, Hard Truths from the Front Lines of the Sustainability Revolution, which is called An Antidote to Greenwash by renowned climatologist James Hansen. He also has lectured at Harvard, Yale, Google, and locally to, to second graders. He's used this platform to leverage politicians in D.C. and Denver, and he's urged major corporations to change their habits to be more efficient businesses. This person is also a skier. He's not just an office wonk. He's like us. He loves skiing powder. He's kind of a dirtbag. One day while we were on a chairlift, he told me how he, thinks about, how he thinks about climate change and how he reconciles the impossibility or at least the, the largeness of the issue. It was a quote from the Talmud. You are not expected to complete the task. Neither are you allowed to put it down. It's an honor to give the first annual Moving Mountains Award to Auden Schindler. I'm Auden Schindler, Vice President of Sustainability at Aspen Skiing Company, and my job is to reduce the impact of the resort, but also to solve big problems facing the industry as a whole. You know, we started this out, Auden started this out early on and met a lot of resistance in the industry. Uh, and it is a fight, but people are coming on board, which is great to see. You know, Auden loves to ski and he loves his, you know, buddies in the ski business. Um, but that's not what lights his fire every day. He gets him out of bed to sort of wage this war uh, in this campaign. It's to have a positive impact on, on humanity, especially those that are less able to defend themselves from the impacts of climate change. Auden's really struck that right, right balance here, uh, locally, and then he's taken that out on a regional level, a state level, and then all the way to Washington. We come at it from both an operational perspective, which is cutting your own carbon footprint, but really from the way the approach that's going to solve the problem, which is pushing on policy. So we spend a ton of time in DC as a business saying, hey, we got to solve this problem. 
he's driving change in action uh, and really um, challenging all of us uh, to take it on and, and, to, and to do our part. The change isn't coming from the government, and at an individual level, that's not enough. So who's left to lead? Business and industry. So we're trying to lead, and we're trying to bring not just the ski industry, but the rest of corporate America along with us. There's a good, there's a good test to determine if you're being successful on your work on climate, and it's, does it hurt? Are you getting flamed on Facebook? Are people mad at you? And there's one publication that has been fearless, publishing on climate over the years. They were early into it, and they've been continued to be fearless, and it's Powder Magazine. So John, thank you. And then there's some other people who are emerging who are fearless as well, and they're the athletes who are hanging it out there and saying, we're gonna ski hard, and we're going to work on a problem that threatens not just skiing, but civilization. And they're here tonight. I've seen a few. Carolyn Gleick is here, Johnny Collinson, Hadley Hammer, and more than 100 other athletes are working on climate. And it hurts, it's painful, it's dangerous for their career and their reputation, but they're doing it anyway. And then the third group I want to call out are the corporations that are supporting this as well. Your beer sponsor tonight is working on climate change as well. So thank you. I don't do this work alone. We're making progress. We will succeed. Skiing will endure into the future, but we need your help. Thank you. Thank you.